Well, she may not be the betting favorite here tonight, but there are a lot of people out there that believe this number one bantamweight contender is the best 135-pound fighter on the planet. And at long last, she gets a chance to prove. She has told us constantly, anytime you are within range of her voice, she will tell you, I'm the best, I'm the champ, give me an opportunity, she gets that opportunity. And she has lived this week as if she believes everything that she says. She has been sure. She has been confident. And that is all rooted in her preparation, which to everyone that knows has been tremendous. And both champion and challenger have a lot of skills, but this particular contender believes this is the best matchup for her in this top five. We'll see if she can dethrone the queen. What a moment, all eyes are on the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion as she tries to succeed in defending the title yet again. She's one of the best pound for pound fighters, man or woman on this roster, and prohibitively favored yet again in defense of her title. I love her confidence. I just love the way she carries herself as the champion. You don't have to know she's the champ to know she's the champ, because when you look at her, she has that star ability about her, and even though she has that, all of it's rooted in her fighting ability. She is one of the best the Octagon's ever seen. And I do think she could be a double champion, but she was sort of reticent to hear that conversation. She is focused on the task in front of her tonight. All right, both fighters have graced the Octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Tatiana Suarez. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC. Third game, third man in the right. octagon for this one. Right. Yeah. Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. We, the North, we're all about these Raptors now, I know. I mean, yes, when they won the championship, I love the Raptors. But let's move forward. Let's get to some good fights in Canada and stop winning basketball games. It's not supposed to be this way. You cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Another one. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Great timing on that double leg. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side under her, and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting and elbowing. She's building her posture and punching. There are just so many different ways for her to score strikes from this position. Good punch, man. Push kick there to the body. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. She has her back. 
She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Oh, got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. She's got her back now. Just over two minutes, round one. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that tough. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. That was Andy Cruz. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here and prevent any of these shots from getting through. She is taking no damage because she's so on point defensively. Nice pass. Nice positional control here. Oh, and now the elbow attack to the body. No part of her is safe. All right, full guard here through the bottom fighter. Trying to prevent the half guard. Yes, absolutely. Trying to keep her in full guard. Throw up some submissions to get back to your feet. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Alton. And there you go. Again, half guard. Final seconds here. Sounds means we have reached the end of round stop, one. Stop, stop. All right, take a seat. Deep breath, one. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. They're probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Oh, nice level change. Aldana getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Half guard position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you got to pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you got to be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and get back to your feet. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman would be proud. Oh. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. See, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. Oh, it's over. Oh! Holy. So how about this result tonight? She tore us in the fighter meeting. I got to get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was going to get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady. Here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 54 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by TKO. And new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Tatiana Suarez.
All right, so she is the new UFC Bantamweight champion, joining an illustrious list of former champions in this division, Misha Tate, Ronda Rousey, and she's on that list now.